Right then, this is the other camera now, same cam same style of camera, this is the older one, and of course I started using it and then I thought, oh, why are you playing up, why are you playing up, because it sometimes does have to adjust, and I'd left the memory card home for this camera, the other camera's battery's flat, is charging, but of course being in the brownies once, and the army cadets, I brought a spare card. So, here we go, we're all right. I've still got other cards as well. I always bring, make sure I'm topped up with cards, memory cards. Got the battery charger on. I'm not expecting to do loads and loads today, but <clears throat> just down there, we've got... There's Holford, there's another coombe there, that's Shepherd's Coombe, leads to Holder's Coombe. Before it then branches off to Slaughterhouse Coombe, where I went earlier, which would up that way. Um, there's the hill fort over there. Dalper Hall Fort. There's some sort of green patches there, I think, I don't know if the deer make those, if they're natural. There's round circles. There's a few people about, a few bikers on their bicycles, um, a few people are walking. This, it's become cloudy now, the blue sky is nearly disappearing, so I'm lucky I've got some of those really good green shots. Although you couldn't even see any blue sky as such when you're in the coombs, it does have an effect on the leaves from above. So, fortunately, I was able. But, like I always say, it doesn't matter if you have to take photographs on a grey day. And why put filters in? It's natural to be grey. You've got to see the contox in all weathers, all types of cloud. You know? Obviously, it looks better when the blue sky's out and the sun's shining. We'll go up here. It looks a bit muddy down there. I'll go up on this path for a minute. So I'm continuing the walk. There's plenty of memory in the other battery, uh, other camera. It's just the um, battery went flat. Uh, I don't, it, what happens when it, it um, goes flat so quick is I use a lot of zoom. I do a lot of zoom and I use the flash. I use its functions and that's what uh, drains it. Right now over there, you, you see there's a pathway going down. There, look, down from beyond that bush there, there's a um, bit not a post, but then you've got this path, and that takes you down to Shepherd's Coombe and down into Hodder's Coombe and back through past the fords and over that way. It will start looking greener and brighter once those ferns come out. The heather is nice and purple. Once all this comes out into proper bloom, this will be a golden jewel up here. There's a boy going down on a bike now, going down the coombe. Well, I'm not going that way today, because I do that coombe quite a lot anyway, because I like doing it. I often like to end a very long day going down there. I like to end, when I'm doing what I call a long day, I like that as my home, home towards Alberta route. Okay, so that's what I do normally. But today, I'm not going down there. I'm going to go up to Bicknoller Post in a minute. Then I'm going to take a branch and go along the edge around the top there to the plantation. When I get to the plantation, depending on the time now I feel, I might go back down through passing um, our Fox and House. But I do want to go and have a quick look at the plantation. Over and out for a minute. <laughs> 